after sleeping on it, I'm starting to come around to the Jake Moody pick. Now, obviously, the San Francisco 49ers taking a kicker at pick 99 has sent 49ers Twitter into a bit of a tizzy but because, again, it is a bit unprecedented to see a kicker taken that high. The last kicker to be taken that high was Robert Aguayo in the second round, and he was a massive bust. So it's really scared people, at least casual fans, away from the idea of taking a kicker early. But this is why I'm starting to come around to it. Now, Jake Moody has proven to be absolutely phenomenal in college at the University of Michigan. And now I understand why the positional value still might sting a little bit of taking a kicker in the third when most kickers go in the fifth round to undrafted. You look at guys like Justin Tucker, who's probably one of the best kickers in the NFL uh, in the last 10 to 20 years, and he was an undrafted free agent. So a lot of people are trying to rationalize the idea of taking a kicker in the third round. This is how I'm rationalizing it. Again, I believe in positional value, so this is where I'm having to work through this. But at the end of the day, if Jake Moody comes in and performs at the level to which he was drafted and becomes a top five kicker in the NFL, the pick will be justified and it will make a lot of sense. And when he's kicking field goals in must win situations in playoff games or potentially in Super Bowls, we aren't going to balk at this pick at all. Right now, I understand the sting that comes along with the pick. But obviously, the San Francisco 49ers, as John Lynch said, feel conviction with the pick, and they felt they made the right decision because when you look at the entire roster, the only true hole that they had in regards to not having a starter was kicker. So they felt they needed to make this move, and they got the guy that they wanted. Now, again, I don't love taking a kicker in the third round. I don't necessarily agree with the positional value of taking a kicker in the third round. But just like I said, if we are deep into the winter and you have Jake Moody nailing kicks to advance this team to the next round of the playoffs, we're going to be singing his praises and we're going to be calling the San Francisco 49ers geniuses for making this Pretty crazy move to go take Jake Moody at pick 99. So again, I can understand why fans aren't loving it right now. And I understand the concerns of taking a kicker at pick 99. But let's keep in mind, if Jake Moody is what we think he is and becomes an elite level kicker, because that's what the expectation is when you take a kicker at 99, then we're going to have absolutely zero problems moving forward but it also does put a ton of pressure on jake moody so it'll be interesting to see how it goes this is how i've been rationalizing it. just like you take a quarterback in the top five and that pressure that comes along with that this is like what the 49ers did with the kicker it's like it's like a top five selection from a kicker perspective there is a lot of expectations for him to be good and good right away so we'll see what ultimately comes from it. But the San Francisco 49ers take Jake Moody, and I'm coming around to it. So we'll see how it goes.